The old lighthouse stood on a cliff overlooking the sea. It was tall and imposing, even though it was abandoned. Nobody lived there. Nobody dared. Julian, Dick, Ann, George, and Timmy the dog were on holiday. They were staying in a village by the sea. The lighthouse was just a short walk away. The friends decided to explore it. Julian wanted to see the view from the top. Dick was curious about the lighthouse's history. Anne hoped to find a rare seashell. George, always the adventurer, wanted to explore somewhere mysterious. Timmy, their faithful dog, was just happy to be with his friends. He wagged his tail excitedly, ready for anything. The sun was setting as they set off. The sky was ablaze with color, casting long shadows across the path. The friends were in high spirits, chattering excitedly as they walked. Julian, the eldest, led the way, his map and compass in hand. Dick, the practical one, carried a backpack filled with snacks and supplies. Anne skipped ahead, her eyes peeled for interesting shells. George, never one to be left behind, strode ahead with Timmy bounding alongside. Her short, unruly hair framed a determined face and her eyes sparkled with anticipation. The path to the lighthouse was overgrown with weeds and thorns. The air was thick with the smell of salt and seaweed. The friends could hear the waves crashing against the rocks below. The old lighthouse loomed larger as they approached. Its windows were dark and empty like the eyes of a giant. The wind howled around them, whistling through the cracks in the walls. The heavy wooden door creaked open with a groan. Inside, the air was cold and damp. Cobwebs hung from the ceiling and dust covered everything. The only light came from the setting sun, filtering through the grimy windows. Spooky. Anne whispered, clutching Dick's arm. Timmy whined softly, his tail no longer wagging. The silence of the lighthouse seemed to press down on them, heavy and unsettling. Come on, scaredy cats, let's explore. Julian unrolled his map, his brow furrowed in concentration. According to this, there should be a spiral staircase that leads to the top. They found the staircase easily enough. It was made of stone, worn smooth by countless footsteps. The steps were narrow and steep, winding upwards into darkness. Let's stick together. It's easy to get lost in a place like this. They climbed slowly, their footsteps echoing in the silence. The air grew colder as they ascended, and a musty smell filled their nostrils. What do you think this place was like when people lived here? Dick asked, his voice hushed. Section 5. George's Discovery George, always the most curious, lagged behind the others. She ran her hand along the cold, damp wall, her fingers tracing the outline of a loose brick. Hey, what's this? She exclaimed, pushing against the brick. To her surprise, it moved inwards, revealing a small, dark opening. A secret passage! Dick exclaimed, his eyes widening. Timmy barked excitedly, sniffing at the opening. George, her heart pounding with excitement, squeezed through the opening, followed closely by Timmy. Be careful, George. We don't know what's in there. Section 6. Anne's Observation Anne, her eyes sharp, noticed something glinting on the floor where George had been standing. She bent down and picked it up. It was a small silver key, tarnished with age. Look at this, she called, holding up the key. I wonder what it unlocks. They continued up the staircase, their curiosity piqued. The key felt heavy in Anne's hand, a tangible link to the lighthouse's past. Perhaps it unlocks a treasure chest. Or a secret room. Anne added, her eyes shining with excitement. Section 7. A Moment of Truth Finally, they reached the top of the staircase. The air was thick with dust and the smell of the sea. A single, grimy window offered a breathtaking view of the coastline. Wow. Julian breathed gazing out at the vast expanse of water. But George was not looking at the view. Her eyes were fixed on a heavy wooden door set into the wall opposite the window. It was old and weathered, its iron hinges rusted with time. I think this is it, she said, her voice trembling with anticipation. She inserted the silver key into the lock. It turned with a satisfying click. Section 8. The adventure continues. The door swung open with a groan, revealing a small, dusty room. A single lantern, hanging from the ceiling, cast flickering shadows across the walls. The room was empty except for a wooden table in the center. On the table lay a leather-bound book, its cover thick with dust. What is it? Anne asked, her voice hushed. Julian carefully lifted the book from the table. As he brushed the dust from its cover, a title embossed in faded gold lettering was revealed. The Secrets of the Seven Seas. Wow, this looks promising 
The friends exchanged excited glances. They knew this was just the beginning. The abandoned lighthouse held many more secrets, waiting to be discovered. Their adventure was just getting started.